Hi everyone, let's take a look at a typographic change in Tailwind 2.0, the addition of default line heights for each value in the font size scale. We found ourselves constantly adding the same leading class when applying a font size class on an element, so we eventually decided to come up with sensible default line heights for each font size, which can of course be overridden with utilities where needed. In version 1 of Tailwind, the font size scale in the config file looked like this. Each size in the scale would be defined as a string value. In Tailwind 2, default line heights are paired with each of the font sizes in the scale. As you can see, each size now is defined as an array, with the font size as the first value, and an object containing the line height as the second value. This means that font size utilities now come with a baked-in line height. Take this 3XL text size here. The added background color helps us visualize how much vertical space is taken by the text. If I hover on the text3xl class, you can see the 2.25 rem line height that it defines. In most cases, default line heights should be a welcome addition, but if you have an existing Tailwind 1 project, this would be considered a breaking change. Anywhere you would be using a font size utility in your project, unless you specify the leading class for line height as well, your text would inherit the 1.5 line height. To show you how that would affect your designs and show you one way to fix this breaking change, I will add the leading normal class here, which sets the line height to 1.5. You can see the difference between the two elements now. Let's duplicate these two and change the font size to 5XL. And the difference here is quite drastic. We have a more detailed video on how to upgrade from Tailwind 1 to Tailwind 2, but as far as font sizes are concerned, you have two options. Bring the font scale from version 1 to your config, or apply line height utilities alongside your existing font size utilities in your markup. Back to our config file, it's worth mentioning that defining font sizes as string values is still supported. Matter of fact, you can define font sizes in a range of ways. You can have an array with just the font size. You can have an array with both the font size and the line height. Finally, you can define an array with options, where the second index is an object that can accept a line height and also a letter spacing key. A nice thing to know, if you were reaching for the font size by using the theme function, you don't have to change anything to the syntax. The theme function is intelligent enough to return the font size value when you reach for this specific theme key, whether it's defined as an array or not.